Hello and welcome to Crafting with Ty and Friends. Today I'm going to show you guys how to upload PNG images and also images with backgrounds into Design Space. So you want to open up Design Space and click New Project. And then it should open up a blank canvas. Once you get to your blank canvas, you want to click Upload. And then you want to click Upload Image. You can drag and drop your file here or you can browse. So today we're going to click Browse. Now you want to locate your file you want to use. So we're going to use this um, baby file that I created. It actually has a background. So we're going to show you how to remove that background when you bring it into Design Space. Cricut wants to take its sweet old time today. So once your file loads into Design Space, it will load here and you can you have three choices here. Simple, moderate, moderately complex or complex. No matter what file I have over here, I always choose complex. Now you want to hit continue. Then it should pull in another screen where it shows you your file with the background. Now you want to remove this background. When you get to this screen, it automatically has the select and erase tool. Uh, checked so all you want to do is click on your background and it will remove your full background when you get to this screen you can choose print to cut or cut image you want to choose cut image and you can change the name here I'm going to keep the name the same you can add tags to help you find it easier or more images in your design space but once you do that, you want to click Save. And then it should bring you to the screen where it shows that you have uploaded this image. So now I have my image uploaded. And you can click here. And it shows you that your image is here uploaded and you can click insert to insert it into your canvas. Now once the image gets to your canvas, you can resize it to it. So once your image gets here, like I stated before, you can go ahead and resize it. Once you get it resized, you want to click save. You want to save it as whatever project name you want it to be saved as. I recommend saving it because if you was to go and print this already and something happens where your computer screen shuts off back and just go straight to cut it and you don't have to reprint it wasting your paper. So once you have it resized, you want to go save like I stated. And then once you save it, you want to click make it. And then you want to follow the rules on your iron-on transfer or your printable requires you to mirror your image. This is the step where you will mirror your image before you print it. So you'll click mirror. If not, then you'll just click continue. So once you mirror it, if needed, you'll hit continue. Just show a preview here. But Design Space is taking its sweet old time to load. So you'll hit continue. And then it'll ask you if you want to send it to the printer. So you can send it to the printer. No bleed because I don't want it to bleed. And um, you'll send it to the printer and you can print it and come back and cut later since you saved it. But if you didn't save it, I recommend when you print, you cut it because you might not get When you come back to reprint it, I mean to recut it, if you already print it and it's not saved, you're not going to get the same space. This cut will not be on the same space. So... It will actually waste the paper you printed it on. Now let's cancel this. 
a PNG image, and that's just an image with no background. You basically do the set, follow the same steps, except for you're going to skip the step um, in removing a background. So you'll just go to upload image, and then you'll browse again. Do, 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 do. Sometimes I have zero patience for design space. So here's where you'll locate your PNG image. So I'll go to my PNG images and I will just pull up any one. You see here, you don't have pick which one, ever one fits the description you need. I, I'll choose that one and press continue. And you have no reason to remove anything unless you want to remove your pictures because the background is already removed. You can preview and it'll show you just the cut, the cut outlines of where your machine will cut. So we're going to hit continue. And print then cut image and not a cut image. So you want to make sure this one is selected. Change the name here. Add tags and press save. And you can hit it. Click it. And it will show you hit here. You want to insert image. And it will bring your image into your canvas ready to be printed and cut the words to this to this design here so let's get rid of this one real quick and I'll show you guys how to add some words. So we'll go to text and we'll just say cancer free. You can change the font here. So we'll just grab any old font really quickly. We're going to move the writing just to be under here. And we want this to print also with our mini, our Mickey Cancer Awareness Ribbon. So what you want to do is you're going to change it to whatever color you want it to print as. And then you're going to click print over here in the tool. Now you want to highlight both items and you want to click flatten. Now what that does is it flatten everything in place so when it goes to print, everything will print in place. This design space stops loading. So we're going to go click to make it. And as you see, everything is in place now if you didn't click flatten this will not be in place so we're going to go back
and we're going to undo flatten just want to make sure that I undid it so now I want to show you guys what it does when flatten is not chosen So when I don't choose flatten, it just um, prints anyway. So it, however I have it on my canvas, it is not going to print like that. So you must choose flatten if you want to make sure that it prints exactly how you see it on your canvas. Now that's how I load PNG images and images without background and also to add any wording to any print then cut file you want. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.